do today, okay? And I want you to write this down as I'm writing it down. It starts out like this. Mr. and Mrs. Wong, okay? Follow along. All right, I uh, have three daughters, okay? Three daughters. And they have, I think they have one son. Okay, so you with me so far? Yeah. So three daughters, one son, how many children? Four. Four, Four children all together, okay? All daughters have one husband and one child. So all the daughters, all the daughters, One husband and one child. Okay, very good. Okay, the son has two wives but no children. The son has two wives. Yeah, two wives. And no children. Okay? And finally, here's the question. How many people are going to be at the house when they have a reunion? Okay? So, how many people, people in total will attend the reunion? All right, so take a second to work it out. All right, so let's read it one more time. Mr. and Mrs. Wong have three daughters and one son. All the daughters have one husband and one child. The son has two wives, but no children. How many people in total will attend their family reunion? All right, take a second and work it out. All right, make sure you show work. 14. 14. The answer is 14. Very good. All right, so that wasn't that difficult. Now, let me ask you a question. How did you work that out? What did you do? What did you do? Um, I add them all up. You add them all up, okay? And any tricks in that question there? Any, any like uh, brain shakers? Anything to confuse you? No. No, no, not like that. So now on the OSA test, remember, they do place five questions in the OSA test to shake up your brain. Yeah. Um, but my friend who took that OSA test, Say it's all easy, it's so easy, all of them. Yeah. Sometimes, I gotta tell you, sometimes the test may be really easy that particular day, but we always wanna make sure that we're prepared for anything. That's what okay? I'm so, let's try one more word problem, okay? 